inside the variation wizard, you click add a variation. And then you add the name of the product in the first box. So in this case, it's 32 degrees heat, weatherproof men's packable down vest, camouflage, and I want to add this in a large. If you have a UPC, you can add the UPC. If not, I like to grab EAN numbers because it's faster off of my UPC chart, so I'll add the EAN number there. Size color, once again, I'm going to say that it's a large. I select my color closest to what the description is. I'm going to say it's green because the other army khaki one is also described as green. And then once again, in the next box, it wants your exact color. So I'm going to call it the same as the other one, army khaki green. And then the size drop down box, I'm going to select large. The item is new. I always say I have zero quantity because I'm going to do this FBA. And if I say I have one quantity, it's going to create the variation as merchant fulfilled. And someone could buy it because I said that I have one. Then I go and I put the price in. Usually I'll, if there's prices on here, I just price competitively to what everybody else is doing. It can always be changed later. And then I click save. After you click save, you'll see that it then added your variation. While you're in there, if you have to add another one, just click add variation again and repeat the process. So in this case, I also need to add an extra large. So I, I add my description, change the size to extra large. Once again, I need my EAN number or my UPC. I like to use the purchase ones because it's faster to copy and paste. The size is extra large. Once again, the color is green. And then I use the exact color description, which is army khaki green drop down box. I'm going to select extra large because that's the size. The item is new. I have zero quantity because I'm going to FBA and I plug in my price that I'm going to charge. And I click save. Once I'm done adding any variations that I need to add, I click generate template which then downloads the sheet that I need at the bottom of the page. And you click download and it will load at the bottom. Then you open the download, click on the tab that says template. And because I have a Mac, I have to export to Excel. If you have a PC and you already have Excel, then you can skip the step of exporting it to Excel. Um, I'm going to name the file 32 heat vest variation so that I know where to find it. I click export. So I have to save it as a document in my computer because after I generate the, ta the template and I export it, I have to go back into my inventory. So I click inventory and I go to add products via upload. The second tab says check and upload your inventory file. Skip the first section, go down to step two. Leave the file type what it is. It says inventory files for non-media categories, leave that. Now you choose the file that you just saved, which I saved as 32 heat vest variation. Click open. Once it's attached, I click upload, and I am now telling Amazon what variations to add to that listing. And as you can see, it says that I uploaded 20 records and there's three warnings. I'm not really sure what the warnings are, but I have zero errors, which means that it should show up in my inventory um, very soon. Sometimes it'll, it can take a couple minutes, but it'll pop up in your inventory and then you'll be able to basically open the variation that you just made and then select the item that you're sending in and then create the shipment from inside of your inventory. And that's how the variation wizard works.